Bonzo B8 here back with another beer review and today we're reviewing Byron Bay Brewery the Hazy One Pale Lager now Byron Bay Brewery is now Asia massive conglomerate brewery because it's bought by Lion Nathan a while ago and I haven't touched it since because back in the old days when it was owned by Byron Bay the beers were quality they were brewed on site and let's be honest they still are the head brewer has stayed on but as you know with massive conglomerates uh, ingredients can be changed and so can tastes this is one of their four runner lagers it comes in at 4.4 percent and 1.2 standard drinks it's now available in cans which it wasn't before you could only get it at the brewery but now it's being sold in cans uh, as usual glassware is important people i like to use a traditional schooner glass instead of my fancy IPA glasses because lager is meant to be quaffed drunk fast and I like a nice wide top to keep that carbonation flowing because I don't like it sitting there like an IPA I don't want to trap everything I want it to just kick me in the face uh, lovely carbonation this is unfiltered um, this is a cloudy lager which is my favorite type of lager lagers in my opinion suck most of the time unless they're from Germany or Denmark or Belgium where they're big bastards. I don't like piss weak, clear, thin lagers. And this is not one of them. But let's double check. <sighs> Very lagery. Uh, I have no information on what malts or uh, hops they use. <sighs> Interesting. The mouthfeel is lovely. It's actually quite soft and it's quite bold. I was kind of worried that maybe since the changeover, the lager would taste different and in my opinion it slightly does it's got that slight tinge in the background where you're like wait a second you're not completely craft but it is brewed on side I'm told so it shouldn't have changed in taste but whether like I said originally the ingredients are of the same quality I don't know um, but now it's being canned as well it could change in the can this is a quality little lager though Oh yeah, it's uh, it's beautifully and refreshing, and it's very easy drinkable. Goes down quite easy, but at the same time, it's bold enough for you can you can sit on that. And for the avid craft beer drinker, it's well worth a try. This obviously goes great with all those meat baked dishes if you're one of those meat eaters, and pretty much all the vegetables you can think of, except for Brussels sprouts, because nothing goes with Brussels sprouts. Um, this is a great lager and I definitely think you should buy it and give it a go. Whether it will be as consistent as time goes on, only time will tell. Uh, I would rate this out of 10, taking into account I don't really like lagers that much, unless it's Stone Award, Unfiltered Lager. Out of 10 I would give this a 6.5. And, and that's not to say it's bad, it's just I just am not into lagers. As a lager standalone by itself, it's fantastic. And definitely worth a buy. Bye. Bye bye.